to my presentation. This is introduction of three moment equation. This equation is a relationship that that exists between the moments at three points in continuous beam. Now we have objectives. Computation of deflection using three moment equation and analysis of indeterminate beams. Now for the discussion, we have continuous beam subjected to inner loadings. Now let L1 and L2 be the distance between the two segments or spans. And consider the three points on the beam marked as 1, 2, and 3 as, as shown in the figure. Now we have the general forms. We have M1 times L1 plus 2 times M2 times L1 plus L2 plus M3 times L2 plus 6A1 times A1 over L1 plus 6 times A2 times B2 over L2 is equal to 6EI times H1 over L2. L1 plus H3 over L2. M1, M2, and M3 are the bending moments of the given points. Now for the principles. The three points selected in applying the equation to continuous beams are the points at the supports. This is usually assumed as rigid. The equation is used to determine the bending moments in the beam over the supports. If one end of the continuous beam is fixed, introduce the imaginary span. The heights H1 and H3 is equal to the desired deflection. Now values for the terms 6A1 times A1 over L1 and 6A2 times B2 over L2 for any loadings. Number 1, we have the axial load or sing, single force so pwede ring mga triangular load uniformly distributed load or trapezoidal loads so 6AA over L is equal to P times A times L squared minus A squared over L or 6AB over L is equal to P times B times L squared minus B squared over L. Now for the couple, uh, 6AA over L is equal to M over L times 3 times A squared of, uh, minus L squared. Or 6AB over L is equal to M over L times 3 times B squared minus L squared. Example number 1. Using the three moment equation, determine the deflection at point B given that E is equal to 29 times 10 to the power of 6 space I. Then yung I, sa segment AB, we have 4,000 inches to the fourth. Then, for the segment BC, yung I is equal to 2,500 inch to the fourth. Solution. So, we have an elastic curve. Then, the required deflection at point B. Now, using the basic principle of equilibrium, we can find the reactions at point A and C. We have 72 kips. Then consider segment AB as L1, then segment BC as L2. Now, 
by cutting the segment AB, we can find the bending moment at point B. Using equilibrium equation, summation of moment at point B is equal to zero, considering counterclockwise positive. Now, we have MB minus 72 times 12 plus 4 times 12 times 6 is equal to 0. Now, MB is equal to 576 cube feet. So, considering L1 and L2, we have MA times L1 over I, I1 plus 2 times MB times L1 over I1 plus L2 over I2 plus MC times L2 over I2 plus 6A1 times A1 over I1 and L2 plus 6A2 times B2 over I2 and L2 is equal to 6E times HA over L1 plus HC over L2. Since nasa point B ang required deflection, so HA is equal to HC or is equal to YB. So, MA 0, then yung MC is equal to 0. So, nakapin at roller support kasi yan. Okay? So, ang matitira sa equation ay ito, no? So, we have 2 times MB times L1 over I1 plus L2 over L2 plus 6 a1 times A1 over I1 and L L1 plus 6 times A2 times B2 over I2 and L2 is equal to 6A times Y, YB over I, L1 plus YB over L2. Now, let us focus on this term. Now, for the values of 6A1 times A1 over I1 and L1 and 6A2 times B2 over I2 and L2. Then consider segment AB. Ito siya. Now for the for the value of 6A1 times A1 over I1 and L, L1 is equal to P times A times L1 squared minus A squared over L1 times I1. So, i-convert natin sa single axial force. So, using integration method. So, we have P, then dx with corresponding distance x from point A and 12 minus x from point B where P is equal to 4 times dx and A is equal to x then ang L is equal to 12 feet then yung limit 0 to 12 12 feet Then, 6A1 times A1 over I1 and L1 is equal to the integral of uh, P times A times L1 squared minus A squared over I1 and L1. So, yung limit 0 to 12. So, is equal to integral of so 4 times dx yung P times x yung a then yung l1 squared minus a squared over i1 or 4000 times l1 or 12 using calculator 
So, 6A1 times A1 over I1 and L1 is equal to 0, 0 0.432. Okay? Now, for the value of 6A2B2 all over I2 and L2 is equal to uh, P times B times L L2 squared minus B squared all over I2 and L2. Consider segment BC. Then we have the vertical strip or differential element. So we have P. Then we have DX with corresponding X distance from point B. Then 24 minus x from point C where P is equal to 4 times dx or P is equal to 24 minus x yung L 24 feet then yung limit 0 to 24 feet then 682 times B to all over uh, I2 and L2 is equal to the integral of P times B times L2 squared minus B squared all over I2 and L2. So, yung limit 0 to 24. Then, ng value. So, integral of yung P. So, 4 times dx. Then, yung B, 24 minus x. Then, 24 squared minus 24 minus x, so squared, over I2. So, ang I2 natin is equal to 2,500. Then, yung L2, we have 24. Then, using calculator, so 6A2 times B2 all over I2 and L2 is equal to uh, 5.5296. Okay. Then substitute the values. Now for DMB, we have 576 times 12 over 4000 plus 24 over 2500. Then for the 6 A1 times A1 over I1 and L1 we have point, point 0.432 plus 5.5296 is equal to 6E times YB over 12 plus YB over 24 then for the values of these terms we have 20.4768 is equal to 6AY, AYB over 8. So, AYB is equal to 27.3024. So, express and keep, keeps fit square, uh, cube over n to the fourth. Or yung YB or deflection at point B is equal to 27.3024 times 1000 times uh, 12 raised to 3 over E is equal to 29 times 10 to the power of 6. So yung YB is equal to 1.627 inches. So downward. So, this is the final answer. Okay. Now, for the references.